Welcome to the Canary Islands, the seven little pieces of paradise just off the coast of Morocco. We cycled all seven in September and October of 2018, discovered the beauty, biodiversity and tasty foods they have to offer. It's time for a gazpacho! And connected throughout them by ferry. Now it's time to take you along our seven weeks on seven islands and to show them to you from our bicycle perspective. This is Cycling the Canary Islands. La Palma, the shark tooth of the North Atlantic Ocean. We arrived here with our bikes after having cycled five other Canary Islands and had a much needed rest at a warm showers host before riding out. Have you seen the trees? It's because of the wind. I'm eating the figs we collected. Because? Oh, because it's raining. <laughs> We're hiding from the rain, believe it or not. There's supposed to be a very nice volcano down there, but we can barely see it. Bathrooms are empty, no? They're closed. But the place is amazing. Just what we needed in this rainy weather. So you can, um, if you're gonna come to the Canary Islands and you're gonna be walking or cycling, so no car, you can contact the city hall for this um, Acampada Libre, Libre permit, which is a free camping permit. And you're allowed to camp anywhere on a path as long as it's not private property. So we're good. <laughs> and for this particular place, because it has a balcony and a dry space, we are even considering putting our tent without the cover there so that we don't get the cover wet and tomorrow we can just pack it dry. Yeah, it's not good to get wet on the first night. And look at that, they even have taps. So we can do our dishes. La Palma is the steepest island in the world. Like the other Canary Islands, it was created by the eruption of a giant volcano and has craters all throughout. We started our climb not knowing about the steepness and as our knees had started to decline in strength, the daily climbs became harder and harder. The ocean sweeps in different weather conditions every day, which makes planning a route to the top a little tricky. Traffic is pretty mild, which helps. And the wildly growing fresh fruits do give a bunch of energy. It's incredible that you can just pick them up like this. Wonderfully red, and they're just green outside but already red inside. We're doing fruit degustation in this valley. We got avocados, khakis, bananas, pomegranate. Passion fruit. So first off, for this climb, they haven't constructed a bridge connection there. Instead, you're gonna have to go from town uh, down over there then all the way down here and then back up through the end up to this part of the road it's pretty unnecessary but beautiful what do you think we have we almost made it yeah how far is the top well the top for today <laughs> it's like five kilometers away still another area de recreativa The main strength of this island, besides its scenery, was the resting areas that the locals provide for people traveling through. They were beautifully designed, with free-to-use amenities, 
and the best part of us traveling off season meant that we had them all to ourselves. What's for dinner? Mm, we have pumpkin soup with some lentils and some fideos. And we have some bread with garlic. Nice. It's lovely. And you barely see it. Then the knees started playing up. My knee hurts. I fell about two years and a half ago and I had surgery. So I'm getting a little bit of an inflammation on the knee um, because of all the climbing we're doing. We might have to hitchhike today. Knee pain became one of our main struggles on this island. And for anyone wanting to cycle it, we recommend you pack lightly and cycle few of the other islands beforehand. We keep on finding fruit. Can you show me? Mm -hmm. What did we find now, Tristan? Castañas. Castañas? Chestnut. What's a castaña? Chestnut. And for the ones watching, or at least this is what I learned at home, only when they have these needles, the outside shells, you can eat the, the chestnuts. Otherwise, if they're smooth, you can't. And I'm not sure why, but that's what I learned. Look at how many we have already. We're gonna cook them, bake them. Yes. We are going up the crazy road now, all the way up to the top of the island. It's a 15%, 10% kind of gradient. And it has a problem because we want to hitchhike with Belen's knee going on. There's no cars going up there, because there's nothing there except for tourists, and tourists only drive small cars so we're kind of just doing it. doing it, pushing, riding parts of it, and then pushing again It's very steep, huh? This is going to take a long time So, we've been climbing Looking for a camp spot. Climbing like heroes. We can only find these little parking lots. They don't help. I have no idea where we're getting the energy from. Eventually, after pushing and cycling ourselves up the 2,400 meter high peak, we cycled down in triumph. The volcano we were riding on is the largest of the Western Canary Islands and erupted only as little time ago as 1971. Cycling over it after days of climbing was a reward almost as massive as the climb itself. Right B, we've rested now. What do you think of this climb? Should we do it again? No. <laughs> Never again. No, I think it's too much for cycling a loaded bicycle. Yeah. But I'm very surprised we did it. We we wanted to hitchhike and we did not, so yeah. good for us. Yes. And now we have a beautiful view. Yeah, although we're gonna see the valley, there's too many clouds. In general, every other island has been about scaling the volcano. And looking back at it, we are not sure if this is always the best way. Sure, you're gonna get a killer downhill, but you may find yourself exhausted over the thought of carrying your stuff. It's a decision ultimately up to you. And your legs. Wow, that's a big number. Eh? All on your own legs. Yes, that's why I'm so tired. 
So before we go down and back to our host and off this island, I'd like to ask for your pre-impression on La Palma and if you should cycle it. If you like cycling, yes, come over. Um, it's a nice concept to cycle all the seven islands, but this one and La Gomera are very tough and you miss a lot of things because you can't get out of the road. So not sure I would recommend it for cycling though. Better walking. And on that note, it was time to conquer the last island. For those who would like to support future tours and video series like these, feel free to check out the Patreon link below.